South Australia's riverland communities are bracing for potential flooding as the Murray River continues to rise, potentially affecting thousands of homes and farms. The state government has declared a major emergency, giving Police Commissioner Grant Stevens greater powers to respond and coordinate relief efforts. Riverland residents prepare for floods. Greater than greater than modeling indicates floodwaters could peak in early December, with a second peak potentially in late December or late January. The increased water levels have been caused by recent rainfalls interstate in critical catchment areas across the Murray-Darling Basin. Up to 4,000 properties could be inundated if the river reaches its predicted peak in December. Low-lying areas along the Murray have already been affected by rising floodwater, with the Manum Caravan Park having to remove cabins close to the water. We're losing a battle, really, park spokesman Roy Whitaker said. Local councils in the Riverland held flood preparation meetings and are looking at mitigation measures to protect homes and infrastructure. We're collecting enough sandbags so we can hopefully restrict the water levels rising under the house, Manum resident Bill Clissold said. Funding assistance package announced the South Australian government announced a $51. 6 million assistance package for property owners and businesses hit by flooding along the Murray River. The money will fund levy construction and repairs, support tourism and other businesses, and provide assistance to homeowners. Individuals and residents will be able to apply for grants between $400 and $1,000 for personal hardship, and the government will cover two weeks of emergency accommodation for residents who cannot return home. Premier Peter Malinowskis took his cabinet to the Riverland on Tuesday to meet local officials and said there may be more funding support offered in future. We face the real possibility of a protracted event where we have high river flows going right into the early months of next year, potentially even into autumn, he said. Authorities expect an update on river flows on Thursday. With Tim Dornan, AAP.